Now, you're even going to love or hate how uh, this has been done, but I, like, eh. anyway, we talked about this on uh, today's Amp Hour um, the podcast, if you don't know. I've only been doing it for, like, 10 years, myself and Chris Gamel. Um, yeah, we actually talked about this. Chris thought uh, he was a bit triggered by this, but we actually talked about uh, different techniques for uh, doing art like this on uh, PCBs. Now, um, you can actually do, with a standard PCB, you can actually do uh, five different colors in quote marks um and by this i mean right this is a standard uh this is a matte black um solder mask with a regular white uh silk screen here but anyway you can get um five different uh colors so to speak when doing this artwork on a normal piece of b of course you can get a multi-pass uh process for your silk screen so you can actually get uh different colors on your uh silk screen overlay white is just you know happens to be like the default uh color but not that they do actual silk screens much anymore it's not the process but it's still called silk screen anyway legend overlay you can actually get different colors and they can actually apply that as multiple uh processes so you know some manufacturers have you know might have half a dozen different colors uh, to choose from or even more um, for your um, overlay so you can actually uh, get that but yeah it'd be every overlay every extra process I've got to pass it through for the different color is ka-ching 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 on the uh, cash register but anyway so you can get five different colors so one is your white um, overlay like this and then you've got your, your solder mask color whatever happens to be your solder mask this is a matte black you can get a gloss black you can get your traditional green you can get reds and yellows and bloody purples these days everyone's doing bloody purples and god knows what color you can get pink ones these days oh god when i was a boy it was green take it or leave it anyway so that's two colors and uh then of course um you've got your uh, just your bare it, either your bare copper um is, so you can do like solder mask over bare copper um and then they'll give you bare copper but then that of course will corrode extremely quickly so this one of course has got gold uh flash on it um so yeah it's just a regular uh gold plated board it's not that huge amount extra um and yeah so we've got our gold there but that's basically just you know copper sort of goldy color because it's not really good quality gold so it doesn't look like real gold but anyway, uh, let's not go there. And so you've got your gold color. So you've got your one, two, three colors. And then the fourth color is the bare uh, fiberglass in here. Now, um, you might be thinking, well, Dave, you said five colors. How do you get a fifth color? Well, if you actually remove the copper from the back of the board, it will look different than this. I mean, this is, uh, well, unfortunately, we'd have to take this out, won't we? I presume that is entire uh, copper on the back there, but of course you've got the uh, black uh, solder mask. And of course, if you're doing this board, you might do it as a single-sided uh, job, um, And but you wouldn't really want to etch off. You wouldn't do it to a double-sided and then etch it all off because then they'll get a bit nasty with you um, because they, you're wasting all their etching. They have to replace it quicker. But anyway, you can get different, I guess, um, translucent properties of the fiberglass depending on the backing you've got, the uh, copper or the solder mask. It it doesn't really matter whether it's solder mask or it's uh, copper. It's, you know, it's going to make it, um, you know, just appear dark like this. But, um, yeah, if we didn't have anything behind there, then it would appear lighter. And, of course, you can actually light up um, from behind as well. So you can do all sorts of arty-farty things with um, PCB materials. You can light them up. Uh, you know, you can put uh, backlit LEDs on the back and actually shine through the uh, fiberglass material. And you can do all sorts of uh, jazzy stuff. But, yeah, with a standard PCB, you can actually get five different colors so anyway i'll link in the amp hour um, episode if it's out by then um and where we uh talk about different uh processes uh potential for doing something like this